In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use the Google Workspace Events API so that your app can process or respond in real time to changes in Google Chat. If you're building an app that integrates with Google Chat, this video will show you how to build event-driven features or functionality for your app using the Google Workspace Events API. So what are Google Chat events exactly? A Google Chat event represents an activity or change that occurs in Google Chat. Examples would be when a user is added to a space or posts a message. Using the Google Workspace Events API, you can create subscriptions that notify your app whenever something relevant changes in Google Chat. Your app can then process or respond in a meaningful way for your users. Let's look at what types of events your chat app can receive notifications for. Imagine you want to integrate your incident management system so that it is notified of any changes to the corresponding Google Chat space, which your team uses to resolve issues. To receive notifications, your chat app subscribes to the space and specifies which types of events it wants to receive. In this case, the chat app subscribes to all types of events for the space, including events about messages, members, reactions, and the space itself. Your chat app will be notified when a new message is posted in the chat space or an existing message is updated or deleted. When a reaction to a message is created or removed, your app will receive an event. Adding, updating, or removing members in the chat space also triggers event notifications for direct members of the space. Your app will receive notification for changes to the space that you're subscribed to, such as an updated space name or description. For any event type that you subscribe to, you might also receive batch events. A batch event is an event that represents many events of the same type that occur in a short period of time. For example, if a user adds 20 users to a space at the same time, your chat app might receive a batch event. Now that you have an overview of the types of events your app can receive notifications for, let's see how the events look like and how your app can receive them. Let's say you want your incident management app to be notified whenever a new message is posted in a specific chat space or an existing message is updated. To achieve this, you can send an HTTP POST request, including a request body, as you see on screen. The target resource parameter defines which resource you want to monitor for events. In this case, you define the chat space by adding its ID to the resource name. Event types is where you define that your app will be notified whenever a message is created in the space or an existing message is updated. Adding payload options to the request body is optional, and it defines what data to include in the event payload. In the sample on screen, the event payload your app receives will include not only the name of the change resource, but also data about the message resource. This is because of the setting include resource true. The pop sub topic serves as the notification endpoint where the subscription delivers events to. Let's look at an example of a Google Workspace subscription receiving an event from chat. The Google Workspace Events API subscriptions use Google Cloud PubSub topics as the notification endpoint that receives Google Workspace events. Here's a PubSub message that contains an event about a message being posted in a chat space. The message contains standardized cloud event attributes, including the event type, the subscription the event came from, the time it occurred, and much more. The PubSub message also includes a data field which contains the event payload about the space resource. Let's have a look at that payload. This is an example of an event payload that was received due to a user posting the message, the issue is resolved. We see that the payload includes details about the resource. This is because the HTTP request body contained the include resource true option. Ready to start working with events? Then check out our documentation linked in the description. There you'll find guides, code samples, and tutorials to help you start using Google Chat events for your app using the Google Workspace Events API. Leave us a like if you've learned something new in this video, 
And may I suggest you subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all things Google Workspace related.